Bama's going from having its A plus group to now it's got its B to B plus group. Now a B plus group is still an honor group. It's still a solid group. It's still a group capable of doing something, having success and assisting to a national title. But all of these guys have to prove themselves. And first and foremost, John Mechie got to prove himself, got to take that next step in leading these guys to trying to repeat as champions. Mechie a season ago, 55 catches, 916 yards, finished fourth in the SEC in that category, had six touchdowns. He showed that he can be explosive at times. We saw it against Texas A&M where he had five catches, a career high, 181 yards and two touchdowns. Everybody was saying, well, we talk about Wilder, we talk about Smith, but look at Mechie over here. So he showed that against the Aggies. Then he showed it against Tennessee when Waddle went down with the ankle injury. Medici, seven catches for 151 yards. So he has shown signs. He has shown flashes. He has shown potential that he can be really good and carry on that mantle as the number one wide receiver. But can he take it up another level? I want to see him take it up another level because last year he also dropped some passes. He had some passes right there in the bread, bla- in the bread basket but couldn't squeeze it, couldn't hold it, could not finish the catch. So he, he's got to be able to be, have those hands where he can finish plays, where he can finish catches, where he can but he could be that guy that can lead uh, this wide receiver room. And we've seen from Julio Jones to Amari Cooper to Calvin Ridley to Jerry Judy to Devontae Smith, they've all been able to have that mantle, to have that target on their back and being the number one guy and carrying a program from that wide receiver room. Mechie has all the potential to do it, but I want to see him put it all together and get that thing done in the upcoming season. Now, he's got motivation. He's got a ton of motivation. I mean, f- Pro Football Focus came out with a list early in the offseason of the top 10 wide receivers returning to college football, and that she was nowhere to be found on that list, and he took that personal. He took that real personal. So I want to see that mentality from Matchy, that dog mentality from Matchy on that field consistently, you know, at wide receiver. So can he, you know, carry uh, this group? And then uh, along with that, do we see a freshman uh, have that Amari Cooper-esque role where he even steps up and helps Mechie with this responsibility? And I think you do. You you got some guys in here. Christian Leary has that capability from the speed perspective playing in the slot. Asia Hall, number 17, who is a freak freak, a freak athlete, big body, big athletic ability big hands can make can make those types of plays and to me you know he's that guy I think that can have an Amari Cooper escrow that can have that Cooper you know like ability to take some of the uh, responsibility off of Mechie there and then you got a Ja'Cory Brooks now Ja'Cory Brooks a lot of people, some people are starting to compare him a little bit to Calvin Ridley. Me personally, he's a poor man's AJ Green. You remember AJ Green coming out of college there at the University of Georgia, just a very pure, smooth player, player type of receiver, smooth as silk. That was AJ Green. And Ja'Cory Brooks has that type of a skill set coming in and out of the breaks. He's got to get things polished up a little bit more, but the raw skill set is there. For Brooks. And then I haven't even mentioned my boy JoJo Early, who ain't even here yet. He comes in in the summer and the footwork that he's got and the capability that he's got and the route running that he has. I mean, I remember when he flipped from LSU to Alabama in the early signing period back in 2020. I mean, we all went crazy like JoJo Earl, who this cat is. And we turn him a table like, holy balls, that's JoJo Earl. And he's out there, you know, b- blowing past folks and uh, catching passes, quick feet, quick agility. Guy's a playmaker. Guy is Jalen Waddle 2.0, basically. Guy is a major playmaker. And like I said, he comes in in the summer. So, and, and he could potentially be the guy that can uh, have that Amari Cooper esque and help out John Mechie there at wide receiver. Thank you for watching Touchdown Alabama Magazine's YouTube channel. 
To continue to get the best in Alabama football content, subscribe here and turn on your notifications to stay connected with the hottest shows covering your Crimson Tide.